Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I have the results from our superhero survey. Over here, we have the friends who wanted super speed. That's Jackson, Adeline, Athena, Austin, Justice, Sophia, Landon W, Landon G, Ryan, and Benji. Let's count how many friends wanted super speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And over here, we have Harper, who wanted the superhero ability to fly. That's the one I picked too, Harper. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for telling your grown-ups which you would rather have. Grown-ups, please make sure you respond to these questions each day. This is going to be the way that I take attendance. We've been recently asked to keep track of which families are interacting with our posts so we can make sure that you're receiving the lessons every day. So we'll be taking attendance, and the way I'll do that is through your answer to this question, or really any way that you reach out to me daily, just so that I know that you see that the post that um, I'm sending out. So I appreciate that, and thank you. Our new question for today is when you go to the playground, boys and girls, which do you like better? the slides or the swings. So let your grown-ups know slides or swings and your grown-up can respond on the remind post that I send out. Just leave a little comment and I will put up the results for that survey tomorrow. I can't wait to see how many people like slides and how many people like swings. I wonder which one's going to win. Next, boys and girls, we're going to do our calendar lesson for today. So yesterday, was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, March 18th. Let's count how many days we've had in March so far. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So today is Wednesday, March 18th. Do we need a square or do we need a hexagon? So our pattern is hexagon square square or A, B, B. On Monday we had a hexagon. Today, we, or yesterday I'm sorry, we had a square. So today we're going to need hexagon square square. Show you this up close because I know so many people like to see. Is that my calendar piece for today? So hopefully that's one of yours. It could be one of the morning friends also. All right, boys and girls, that's our calendar lesson for today. I'm looking forward next week. Also, I put up here. It's hard to see. But we have Austin's birthday coming up next week. So we'll have to do a special message for you on Friday, Austin. Boys and girls, your game that you get to play today is the game that we sent home last week Friday. You got a couple pink sheets of cardstock with some flowers and some yellow sheets with bees. Your job today is to use your very best cutting skills to cut on those lines so that you can have all of your cards separated like this. Then, with your grown-up's help, you can lay them all out on the ground and you can match the uppercase letter with the lowercase letter. So here I have an A uppercase and an A lowercase. The B goes with the flower because we know bees love to get nectar from flowers so they can make honey. Another way that you can play this game when you're matching is by practicing the sound also. So uppercase A, lowercase A, A says, ah, we practiced that last week, right? For some of you, you might want to do all the letters at once, and for some friends, that might be just too much, and that's okay. You can have, ask your grown-up to just separate a few of the cards out, and you can do them a little bit at a time, too, so it's not so overwhelming. So that's the game for you to play today. I'm also going to send an email out to all of the grown-ups, letting them know how to access the Math Learning Center website, where you can find all of the games that we play in our math boxes. There's lots of great resources on there for some fun math things to do at home. So today I'm just going to share the website, no specific assignments with it, but just so that all the grown-ups can go on and see what's on there, there's a lot of great resources on there. The next thing, I need myself a group plan so that I wouldn't forget what I wanted to say. So I'm checking my group plan. I wanted to let your parents know a couple things. So grown-ups, 
Uh, I will be taking attendance, as I said, so please interact with the poster. Send me a message daily so I know you're receiving these messages. Um, I'm also going to be making a phone call home to everyone every week. So if you have a conference scheduled with me tonight, that will be your weekly phone call for this week. If you do not have a conference scheduled with me tonight, I will be calling you tomorrow. I'll send out emails to all those families today, just asking you when would be a good time for me to give you a phone call tomorrow. And then my hope is that we can all set up um, a good time for me to check in with you each week uh, so that it can be something scheduled that you're expecting so it's not a surprise. Uh, because it looks like we are going to be doing this for a little while, um, it'd be nice for all of us to have a little bit of a routine and schedule. So hopefully there's a good time. Um, I'll email you so we can set that up. Of course, I can check in more often than once a week. I'm hoping um, that we could start doing some video conferences after spring break so that I can see the kids and talk to the kids and maybe we can even loop in um, a couple kids at a time so that the kids can talk to each other as well. Um, so a weekly phone calls. Um, if you have not received an email from me already, grownups, please let me know. I sent an email to everyone, um, the email address that you had in Skyward. Um, if you need a second parent added to the email, please let me know. Just respond and say, can you add this email address to your emails in the future? I'm happy to do that. My email is uselsar at sdmfschools.org. If you need my email, you can send um, a message there. Otherwise, you can respond to the Remind links as well. Um, the reason I want to have Remind and email is because Remind only limits me to 120 characters. So if I want to send some more resources or things like that, it's a little difficult to do that on Remind. Uh, I can set, attach messages or pictures, which is why I've been handwriting notes and attaching pictures, but I can't type very much. So I'm going to send Remind messages and also some emails as well. Please, please, please let me know if you have any questions. This is new for me too. Um, I'm not the most technologically savvy, so I'm trying to figure this all out along with you all. If you have any tips or tricks or suggestions, I am very open to those as well. I look forward to um, diving into the unknown with all of you and figuring this out as we go. Um, boys and girls, I miss you all very much and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.